Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Reading. This is quite a short video. Just wanted to um, do a new moon um, reading this month because this month we actually feel it quite a bit. If that makes sense. <coughs> Usually on this channel you will always find um, full moon uh, readings, um, and they will be in the in the the era, so to speak, of super moons. So. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and you can uh, access these um, full moon readings then. Anyway, this is a new moon reading and the new moon is happening on Monday the 17th. Now, people of my generation, uh, remember the mighty Duran Duran singing It's a new moon on Monday. Remember that? How right were they? Because we have a new moon on Monday, <laughs> on July the 17th, 2023. Now, new moon's energy to us is as follows. On the new moon, that's the whole point, um, they used to say it's the opposite of a full moon, but because the moon goes through phases and, you know, there's no such thing really as an, as an opposite because the moon does not oppose itself. The moon is our emotions. Emotions are not supposed to... to um, oppose one another, you're supposed to sit with it, right? Learn from them, uh, because you have an experience on this planet being a spiritual being, having a physical experience, so to speak. So that doesn't quite hold up. Point is, energetically speaking, the, the full moons affect us more, hence you will hardly ever find a new moon reading on the channel. This month is different. The new moon is coming in on the 17th and on the new moon, the moon is not illuminated, there is no light, which then translates into this is the time when you have very few distractions. So it is quite a good time for manifestation. The reason why I wanted to make a video this month is, of, um, is because Venus has been really close uh, to the moon, if that makes sense, uh, all year. And um, in July, which is this month, Venus is at its most magnificent, at, at, its, at its most brightest, and therefore it's hottest. So it's, it's hotter, than, hotter than usual, if that makes sense. And how this affects us is it gives us the energy of warmth, of safety, of being appreciated. So when it then comes to the new moon, no light, no distractions. This is really a good time, uh, because we're talking about Venus here, um, to, to um, reflect on how are you truly feeling. Now, on the 19th and 20th of July, as the moon moves, the moon moves even closer to Venus. So it's at its closest to Venus on the 19th and 20th. And um, so the energy of Venus is quite important when it comes to to this month's new moon on the 17th. And the reason why this is mentioned is because we're moving into, we're in Cancer. So that's number one. At this point in time, we're in Cancer. So the new moon sits in Cancer. Cancer is the only sign governed by the moon. So anything that happens to the moon um, is much more felt. But on the 23rd of the month, we're moving into Leo, which is governed by the Sun. So this is where the opposition energy comes in. So come the 23rd, you will have a bit more drive, but you will also very likely be a bit disconnected from your emotions. Whether or not this is good or bad depends on where you are at in life. But there's another important thing that I want to mention with regards to the new moon. The new moon is the time to begin to manifest. The new moon is the time to understand, to reflect what is it that I do to distract myself from whatever it is I should probably look at. That sort of energy, really, really important. So please, please, please use that energy to manifest. Look at what it is you really want out of life, especially when it comes to love, because the moon is so close to Venus and Venus is the planet of love, if that makes sense. Really, really important just, just to, um, Get this into your heads, if that makes sense, right? Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video is not necessarily because of um, of the new moon alone. It's because it is super close to Venus. Venus affects you all and us all quite a bit. But Venus goes retrograde 
from the 22nd of July to the uh, to the second of I think it's, I wrote it down third to the third of September 22nd of July to the third of September Venus goes retrograde now a lot of planets are always retrograde going to retrograde it's a it's a it's a very really na very naturally occurring phenomenon that makes sense just, my, my, my computer here made a made a noise just want to see what this does anyway that's all good <laughs> so as Venus goes retrograde by default Retrogradation is a very normal thing, but in retrograde the idea is, and again they're not going backwards, it just appears like this from us, from, from Earth. Um, but every time a planet is in retrograde, whatever the planet, planet does and stands for, is slightly less prominent, less easy to understand. Now here's why this is important. In astrology we're looking at uh, the planets in our solar system, you know, and um, Venus it's just one of them and that is not unimportant but why this is important for you and for us is because the moon is close to venus venus goes into retrograde and venus is the only planet that does not rotate the same way any other planet in our galaxy or the that's probably wrong the planets that we are counting in astrology right <laughs> um, that's how this works so how this works is Every planet, apart from Venus, rotates anti-clockwise. Spiritually speaking, when things move anti-clockwise, you're removing what is no longer needed. Venus, the planet of love, is the only planet that moves clockwise. And when you move clockwise, you're putting in harmony. Therefore, when it comes to feeling loved, being loved, all these kind of things, what your soul really wants is to be harmonious and because Venus always puts in harmony that then means that sometimes a lot of people when it comes to their love life stay longer in, in relationships than they probably should if that makes sense know what isn't working but do fact all about it because you're looking for harmony this Venus going into retrograde from the 22nd of July to the 3rd of September it, that and even though yes it, it means it can affect you um, so wrong word negatively you have less sounds wrong it's just the way I'm getting it you have less energy to be loving and to 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 be fully in your love life that makes sense right? again this is all relative because I it, this has always been my belief the universe does what it does and we are affected by everything it does quite simple but whatever is for you will not pass you by but it just doesn't work that way whatever it is that is for you will ultimately find you and so you know I'm not one of those guys that thinks you know um, once Venus is in retrograde don't date during retrograde because it doesn't quite work that way right but um, it might be a bit more difficult to figure out where you are at now the positive thing about Venus being that planet that always puts in um, harmony and it's really all about harmony and the reason why, we, why we're mentioning Venus at all with regards to the, to the moon is because the new moon is so bloody close to it and Venus is at its brightest this very month which means the energy of Venus the, the need for harmony is so massively great now with, 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 with uh, Venus then moving into retrograde that allows you to understand yes by default I want harmony I'm doing I'm putting harmony in right the clockwise movement so you're not fighting against the clock right you're not you're trying to go with the flow but you're putting in harmony every turn and because of the retrograde that let me put in harmony here let's see it from the best point of view right um, um, put a bit more energy into it um, convince myself that what I'm seeing is totally shit in the relationship I can override which is another thing that happens when you just put harmony in without really reflecting. Being in retrograde, Venus in retrograde, means that this thing that a lot of people do, right, that are sort of associated with, with Venus kind of stuff, um, and we all are when it comes to love, um, is now easier not to do. So while understanding how to love, how to feel loved, may be a little less easy to get while Venus is in retrograde it also allows you 
to handle your love life and your emotions, if that makes sense, a tad better because you're not seeing it through uh, rose-tainted, uh, uh, whatever it's called, glasses, if that makes sense. So understand that the new moon has no light, so it's time about, okay, I have no distractions, you can see what is what, and then with Venus going retrograde, just understand that it allows you to um, look at your love life much deeper. So, that is not just for people who are in a relationship, this is also for, for uh, any other mortal, um, uh, to, to reflect on what is it you really need, want, and where you are in the scheme of things. Really, really important. Anyway, there's a new moon on Monday. Uh, short, short reading. Um, not, I, I'm, I'm not super coherent today for whatever, for whatever reason. But then again, the moment you deal with the universe, how can you be? Everything moves so bloody fast, right? <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that that because the Venus goes into retrograde on the 22nd, but we're moving into Leo on the 23rd which is then the opposite of the moon. This has to do with the moon being the, the, the ruler of the night, the sun being the ruler of the day. So we're moving from, from the moon, which, which governs Cancer, to the sun, which governs Leo, and we're we are on that sort of cusp thing. Now, when it comes to cusps, we're moving into Leo on the 23rd. And for people, so when... So within the first, the energy of, of, let's put it this way, the energy of the sun, which governs Leo, which we're moving into on the 23rd, it takes up to seven days for the energy of the months we're in, which means we're going into Leo, so the Leo months, to fully establish uh, itself. So if we go on the 23rd, and it can take up to two, two, two to seven days, so around the 30th of the month, that's when Leo is at its strongest. So while Venus then goes into retrograde on the 22nd, you have roughly until the 30th before your drive, your ego, um, is so strong that it will likely inhibit you to a certain extent to really feel your emotions, look at your emotions, because when Venus is in retrograde, you're also a touch removed from your emotions, if that makes sense. So use that time. We're going into a new moon, now is the time to manifest, right? And then use the time until the end of, the, of this month, end of July, to really reflect on how am I truly feeling, where am I in the scheme of things? Do yourself that favor. Right? That was your new moon reading for um, July 2023. I have to be drawn to things. Um, I've been recording a lot of very different um, and additional videos uh, this, this month. Um, and apparently you like it, so I'm, I'm glad you, you respond. But I have to be drawn to this. And normally I only record the, um, the monthly readings for each sign, each zodiac. But it's because we're in the energy of supermoons until uh, September, um, that I'm really, sounds a bit wrong, but then again, we're, we're staying with the theme of Venus here, hot, I'm, I'm fired up to record more. So um, I am responding to that additional energy that I have, and because my channel is about, you know, astrology, um, it makes perfect sense to me. And, and so when things then come in, like the new moon, and I'm really drawn to it, that's why I decided to record a video if that makes sense right anyway guys that's all i got um new moon is the time for proper manifestation right all right thank you so much see you soon bye, -bye.